Board J. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, this evening we will be discussing the 2012-2013 contract for excellence. Uh, I would like to share with you the program narrative for this particular academic school year. Um, and when I, at the conclusion of the narrative, Mr. Pasella will discuss the financial component of this. Uh, the New York Large City School District continues to implement the Race to the Top initiatives as defined by the New York State Education Department. Our curriculum is being aligned to the Common Core State Standards. Curriculum modules are being reviewed and revised to align with the district curriculum. The literacy framework for the district will be implemented to support the Common Core State Standards. And the district is developing an assessment framework that will include local assessments and pre-post assessments for all student learning objectives. The district will continue to provide professional development through our network team equivalent. School-based instructional coaches along with school administrators will deliver the district required professional development in each school year. Each school comprehensive education plan will be aligned with the district expectations for curriculum instruction and assessment. Specific attention will be paid to determining the barriers that impact our economically disadvantaged and our black student population. This district has targeted the following schools as required by the Elementary Secondary Education Act Weaver. The Newburgh and Large Cities School District is identified as a focus district. Temple Hill School is identified as a priority school. All remaining schools have been identified as focus schools. The newly created Office of School Improvement will focus their efforts on implementing the school comprehensive education plan and the development and implementation of a district plan. Um, this is a requirement, again, that the state has put on us under. It's quite humorous that they still call it a contract since our side is the only one being uh, held to be implemented. The amount of money uh, that is set aside for the contract for excellence is $9,376,087. It's been the same amount for three years. Uh, when this contract for excellence was first initiated, uh, I believe it's five years ago, four years ago, five years ago, we were promised by the state to get increases of 25%, 50%, to a number that actually could sustain our side of the contract. There was no 2% tax cap limiting our expenditures, but be that as it may, this contract we are forced to do. We did it last year. It's basically continuing the programs that we've implemented over the past few years. We have not received additional funds to increase our efforts for this contract for excellence. Again, each school is getting the same amount of money set aside by budget that's all included in the, the state aid, not in a separate line, but folded into the contract for excellence. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you, Mr. Sells. At this time, we will hear public discussion and comment on the contract, the 2012-2013 contract for excellence. If you'd like to speak on this, please step to the podium and give your name. Being none, we will adjourn the public hearing. Thank you.